him down. Stuck him down. Welcome back to my natural hair channel, Locks of Kinks. It's yours truly, Scotty. And today we are doing a get ready with me. And I'm going to go over my Dominican blowout experience. So keep it locked. <laughs> Beige eye cream. Boop. 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 I'm right, some beige, some Olay eyes, beige eye cream under my eyes, just to help with some of the poofiness underneath it. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. So, you guys, just uh, starting off, the heat for this blowout was ridiculous. Okay, um, I've never gotten a Dominican blowout before of course I've blown my hair out but I went to the Dominican specifically so that they can really straighten my hair and get those kinks out so I can do a lint check but when I tell y'all it was hot like you know how the flat iron you know somebody flat iron your hair and it kind of bump your scalp you're like oh that burn y'all the blow dryer I've already moisturized my face so I'm just going to take some of my what is it banana black opal oh nope black radiance setting powder in banana okay and this is like i love this setting powder this is like the best one i've had ever so just going to lightly dab this on my face and this will help to set my makeup and y'all don't judge me i'm not a makeup guru um, my friend in high school taught me how to do makeup, so I just picked it up and ran with it. I'm not a makeup expert. I just do what I can so that I can look and feel good, okay? So don't judge me. But if you have, you know, um, something in the comments that you would like to suggest about something that I can try or something that you think would look good on me, definitely let me know. I'm for that. I'm all for that. Gotta step your cookies up in this makeup game. This is so weird, y'all, because it's so quiet, and I usually do my makeup and get ready with music. <sighs> but we have each other, right? We have each other. Y'all keep me company. Okay, cool. So, just going to lightly dust this off. Everyone at this Dominican shop was a very, very friendly. Um, yeah, they spoke Spanish the whole time I was there, but I was able to pick up on some of the stuff that they were saying. So they weren't talking about nobody, I think. But yeah, when I tell y'all they work, it was three of them ladies. And I got there when they opened up, and it was already five people in front of me. And I got there at nine. By 10 o'clock, um, me as well as the other five ladies in front of me had been washed. We had been roller set, and we were under the dryer. So that's what they did next. So they washed my hair. Um, I don't know what they washed it with, but I know they conditioned my hair with something called emergency. I don't know what that is. And I only know she put that on my hair because I've seen it. Let me look that up and see what that is. Okay. So it shows here on Google that emergency is a um, hair treatment that will dramatically improve hair's health, condition, and shine. Okay. So I guess she seen me link back in the in the bowls. Like, oh, you need some emergency. So she just put it on my hair without asking. I don't know. But back to the blowout. So I guess she calls herself detangling my hair or trying to while it's in the bowl. But yeah, this was a hot mess. So yeah, they washed my hair. I only deep condition for like five minutes before she rinsed it out. So maybe with the emergency, I didn't need all of that. But um, I don't know. I love this CC cream, y'all. Look at that skin. Yeah, and then they roller set my hair. And I think this was the funniest thing ever. Like, they literally, it literally took three women to put them rollers in my hair. She set me down. She was like, oh my God, you have so much hair. 
And I was like, uh-huh, yeah, I started laughing. And so she tried to like put the first roller in there. She tried to detangle my hair. That's what it was. I she put one roller in my hair and then this other lady comes up same thing she tried to detangle my hair she was doing a lot better than the first lady try to detangle my hair try to detangle my hair she puts another roller in <laughs> then a third woman comes up she did a lot a much better job at detangling my hair i guess she had a little bit more experience with my hair texture with being such a tight curl so she got me right she put all the rolls in my head and um she put me under the dryer i have not been to go get my hair done in i don't know how long so i forgot how soothing being under the dryer is although i hate it but i was sleep i'll give, give me 15 minutes under dryer i'm asleep so i sat under the dryer for probably about an hour skin basically until they finished up with whoever was getting their hair actually straightened at the time because y'all they was on it like a little factory machine like they had six people back there getting washed six people under the dryer like it was crazy they worked really fast and women work hard and now for the fun part when i tell y'all my hair was straight just from them blow drying it alone my scalp was stinging stinging my hair they take like a small comb and like run the blow dryer over it a couple times then they take a round brush run the blow dryer over it a couple of times and um then she go back in with the comb and do it again was straight just from them blow drying it alone like that was it this is so good okay so now i'm using my la girl pro concealer um this is the only concealer i've ever used because you can get that from any beauty supply store it's very inexpensive this is the only color i've ever used la girl pro concealer i don't think we'll ever go out of style i'm just gonna apply it on the areas that i want to highlight And to blend my concealer, I do use a beauty blender and I do need another one. So don't judge me. It's my face, my skin, you know, I've cleaned it. It's clean. So my hair was so super straight just from her blow drying it alone. Like I really went to go get a Dominican blowout y'all because I didn't think my hair could straighten. Like I haven't been able to get my hair straightened in years. And you know, they say like your curl pattern and it may change and stuff over the years. My curl pattern got tighter. The more natural I was, the more natural. I was like oh my god that blow dryer was so hot to my scalp y'all like I wanted to punch this lady in her mouth <laughs> like and when she gave me like a spoon to put over like my ear when she got close to my ear big wooden spoon great idea because I can only imagine my ears being burned from the blow dryer and I know I'm just talking to y'all of course I'm gonna show y'all the results okay but get ready with me first, okay? So y'all can see how it comes together because I haven't seen it since she put it up either. So after that, she did, of course, straighten my hair. She didn't like press the flat iron directly to my roots. So I was appreciative because you don't really have to do that. It's not necessary, especially how hot that blow dryer was. My roots was already straight, trust me. I'm just applying my Black Radiance setting powder once again right on the places that I have applied my concealer. So, yeah. She's straightening my hair. She's doing a good job. She's doing a chase method. So she's trying to make sure, you know, she's taking good care of my curls, you know, that no longer exist at this point. <laughs> oh, that's it, am I done? Am I done? And it's raining here today, so. Um, I just had her go ahead and wrap it up before I even left the shop, honey. Because me trying to be cute in the car, you know, I was going to do that. Flick it up for y'all and everything. But, um, no, it's right. Oh, um, right. Ready? Okay. Okay. Now, this, this is not Fenty, y'all. But, <laughs> okay, we on a budget. 
This is Glowing Strobe Light. I got this when I was out of town at a Walmart. They don't have them um, back home where I'm from. So if I run out of this, I'm gonna have to order it. But y'all see, I'm doing good. I'm holding on to this highlighter, okay? Until somebody give me some Fenty, which I'm probably still gonna hold on to this as a backup. And I don't have a highlighter fan, so I just use a regular blush brush. I think that's what this is. And just literally highlight me areas, my highlight areas. So cheekbones or side, whatever you wanna call it. Other side. And then the bridge. Oh my nose. Okay. We are almost done. And then I can show y'all the final product of what is my Dominican blowout. So to finish off my makeup, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish. And I've been using this for years too. Like, I really don't change my makeup routine, y'all. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh. So I'm about to go put on my dress, okay? And I'll be right back so you can get the full view, okay, for this get ready with me session. And we're back. Okay. So this is the fun part, the takedown. And this is the first time I'm taking this down. First time I'm really looking at myself with this. Y'all look at that. The fun part, the body pants. Which if she would have had bigger bobby pins, I'm sure she would have used them. Because my hair did wrap around my head twice. Have we cracked it? Okay. And this is a clean. I repeat, a clean. Why is we come? Nope. Bye, Vivian. It was hot already. take down my hair with wide tooth combs because it gives the the hair a little bit more volume rather than a small rat tail comb so dang y'all this is the first time my hair has been straightened in years oh my god it's re i really did this oh my god <laughs> who is that who is that And shout out to my mommy. She cut my ends the other weekend so they did not have to chop nothing on my hair. Right down to the bra strip. Okay, now for the fun part. I gotta show y'all the fit. I gotta show y'all how this comes together, okay? My hair is fluffing up already. 
Um, as far as my hair is concerned, and it's been a struggle um, just because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And no, I'm not saying that I'm going to get a relaxer, okay? This blowout was enough for me. I don't know if I will do it again. Um, I actually, I just think I would before I put a relaxer in it, of course. But, um, yeah, I don't know what to do with my hair, and I don't want to do it. Well, it's not that I don't know what to do with it. I still know how to wash it, condition it, the basics. I don't want to do it. Like, y'all. The, how the women at the salon was on my hair about not wanting to do it. I was laughing with them because I don't want to do it. I appreciate y'all for just sticking with me on this journey. Um, it's definitely been a journey, will always be a journey. Um, and just hanging in there with me. But I'm tired, y'all. Tired, tired of the jealous drama. <laughs> I'm tired of doing my natural hair. I love my natural hair. I love my natural curl pattern. I love my hair. Just tired. Tired. Okay. So I'm just pretty much chatting and taking pictures. So basically what you would do to achieve this look is wash, roller set, and use a lot, a lot, a lot of heat. Now, just a disclaimer, if you're going to be worried about heat damage or your curl pattern, I would not recommend this definitely stay tuned for part two to see how my hair turned out after the dominican blowout and as always be sure to like leave comments and subscribe